middle of the afternoon. I'm here at the old Buckman homestead. Get this kind of documented before I forget about it or before I lose my mobility. Buckman was the superintendent of schools in Tulare County. Took out a homestead, 160 acres on this place right here. And lived up here and raised horses. Tried to make a go of it, but I think he finally gave up on it. Those tanks are new, of course. Solar panels, there's a pump there. The new owner's got water providing for all of the cattle here. There should be a creek coming through over there where them willows are. I think the old cabin used to be right out here somewhere on this flat. These rock piles here used to be full of junk when they abandoned this cabin. They just threw all the metal parts in this rock pile, burned all the wood. I, think, I don't know if those corrals were here. They could have been maintained. Would have had some kind of corrals to take care of the horses and what have you. But there's not much shade here. It's not a real pretty area. It's one of the last, last of the homesteads given in this particular area. A lot of rocks up there. Of course, the trees have had hard years with the drought. A lot of them have died. I'm sure it didn't look, didn't look anything like this 120, 130, 40, 40 years ago. But you see the pipe coming down from that rock up there. That was a spring. And a really good spring, too. That's what fed his cabin. That's why I think the cabin was right out here somewhere. You know, there's a nice little flat spot right there. I don't know if that's where it was. Or, but, you know, it wouldn't have been much of a cabin, just enough to prove the area up and some place to spend the weekends or the summers. He, he had a superintendent of school. He probably didn't work much in the summertime. There's an old tin water trough over there. And these old cement water troughs have been here for a long time. At least two or three owners. So I don't know if Gills put these in when they used to run cattle here. Or, uh, I would guess Buckman never put them in. It was somebody after his time. But it's kind of an old style of building cement troughs. Put those little gravestone humps on them. And connect them together so both of them get water. You see the new owners, they've got storage tanks in here, got a solar panels to run a pump inside that little sump tank there. And then you see a pipe going up the hill, across the hill. And they got water running everywhere. They got these little tank farms all over this place now, so you always got water somewhere for your cattle. Been a while since these guys were cleaned out. But you can see, Ev Buckman had a pretty good view when he was sitting here out on his porch. Potato Hill over there. Jet Hill, the closest one to us, where the jet crashed in 49. I think that's uh, Bowery back there, the last one you can see. Blue Ridge would be just behind it. Bowery Ridge. A little springs just over that knoll there and the old McCray homestead was about three quarters of a mile in that direction right there we'll head over to it next year graded a new road in it goes all the way over to the lemon cove Buckman Ev Buckman there's a story about him maybe I'll attach it to this Really, really nice guy. Everybody thought the world of the guy. But this is where it was, right here. Big Oak Flat is over that knob over there. That's Red Hill, I think. So the Big Oak Flat homesteads, a lot of them over there on that big flat. Other little homesteads sprinkled about in the area. 
this would have been one of them. Now this land is used to raise some fine Angus cattle. Shipped over to Kobe, Japan. They love that Angus meat. Well, that's it.